Hey everybody, it's Rhino. And Craig here, and we are at Universal's Endless Summer Surfside Inn and Sweeps. Mm. It is the very first day that it is open here. Yes, yes, yes. We are checking out the resort, and we have tons of content. I'm not sure if it's already gone up at this point or not, but this is extra content. Yes. On top of that, and we are outside. I don't like being outdoors in Florida. Oh, God, no. I'm it's, hot. It's the devil's work. But why are we out here? Uh, well, as always, whenever we cover a new resort, we like to go wherever, uh, to all the areas that you can experience. Mm -hmm. And one of those areas is the sandbar. Yes, that's uh, right behind us. Yes, and that is the, uh, the area located right next to the one and only pool. Uh, and... Some might call it a pool bar. Yeah, you could, you could, you could. I would probably call that as well. Uh, there is no food served at this bar, um, but we figured we'd go over here and try uh, to a couple of the uh, signature um, Endless yeah. Summer drinks that yep. they offer here. Exactly. So we're going to go grab some drinks. We'll let you know what we think. So at the Sandbar, they have some signature cocktails. You can get uh, your drinks on the rocks. You can get them frozen, or you can get some daiquiris, which are usually frozen as well. I believe those are actually definitely frozen. But Also um, beer. Also beer. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yes, there's beer. A selection of beer, both on draft and in can, and then some non-alcoholic offerings as well. Um, and so let me just, I'll run through those really quick here for you. Um, there are five drinks on the rock. There is the Surfside Lemonade, the Strawberry Basil Mule, the Tidal Wave, the Surf and La Paloma, and the Orange Surfbird, and then for Surfer. Um, and then for Frozen, you've got Surfside, Whitewash, the Froze, Toasted Coconut Mango Mojito, the Epic Sunset, Betty's Margarita, and then for Daiquiris, you have a choice of a Strawberry, Raspberry, raspberry Mango Peach, Pina Colada, banana or lemonade. And then your uh, beer cocktails, you got Bud Light. Uh, uh, it looks like some Bud, Miller, Coors, Michelob Ultra, Corona, Blue Moon. There's a Wave Maker, Modelo. Um, there's some Angry Orchard in there as well. And then um, non-alcoholic beverages, smoothies, which are only gonna be $5, which actually I don't think is that bad. You've got strawberry, raspberry, mango, peach, pina colada, banana, lemonade, ice cream, and chocolate smoothies that you can choose from. Those beers in a dra uh, on draft for 16 ounce or $6. For uh, the can, it's $6.50, which I find to be very reasonably priced for a um, theme park resort here. Um, and then the signature cocktails on the rocks are $9 and frozen are $9.50 and the daiquiris being $9.50 as well, which I think is great. So I thought I would try an on the rocks drink, which is the Tidal Wave, which involves endless summer rum. So they have their own rum here. Um, you've got deep eddy peach vodka, orange, pineapple, and cranberry. Like I said, all nine dollars. Um, you got this big chunk of pineapple in here. I got a cherry that I pushed all the way to the bottom. I was worried about this being too sugary, but honestly, on a hot Florida day, this is delightful. Um, I think it has the nice a nice blend of the alcohol with the juices, so it kind of just comes up very, like, it's not too sweet, but I'm also not, like, blown away by the alcohol in it either. Um, we did visit this bar between the hours of 5 and 7 on a Monday through Thursday, and that means happy hour. So as far as I know, the mixed drinks were a dollar off, and then I'm not sure there were specials on beer as well, but I didn't I didn't catch what those were. But um, so you can check it out. But let me let Craig try his because he also got a really interesting selection as well. For my on the rocks drink, I went with the strawberry basil mule. Uh, both Rhino and I are fans of Moscow mules, mules in general. So it, it spoke to me. And this mule is made from Jim Beam ginger muddled strawberries and basil and that basil is yeah, strong it, smell yeah the basil is kicking off basil but i like basil so i'm happy with the basil i'm a little nervous about this one because i watched them make it and it seemed like very little alcohol on the bottom and then a whole bunch of ginger beer being poured on top and I, when I make my mules at home, I, again, I have problems with alcohol. Not bad problems, <laughs> I just really like it. Uh, so it's not a problem at all, but I do like, I do like three quarters of whatever liqueur I am drinking and then a splash of ginger beer. No, no, no. Here, here, like a regular, a regular mule should not use a full can of ginger beer. It should be like 
half of the can. You should be able to use one can for two ginger beers. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, for two mules. It is very refreshing though. This is, um, you know, it is very ginger beer heavy. And I, I can't taste any of the Jim Beam, but that's also a good thing because I don't like Jim Beam. I'm, I know, I'm sorry. I have higher standards when it comes to my bourbon. Uh, so it's, it, it's a nice drink though. It's actually very refreshing, kind of like you said. I never expect the mule to be overly sweet, but with this one, uh, it, it isn't. It's just, it's just plain refreshing. It's very nice right now when we're still in the 90s and it's very, very hot outside. So I'm... 1999, I'm, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm a fan of it. I just, I wish, you know, for $8 during happy hour, $9 regular, I'm not going to complain about it. All the, the fact that all the drinks are under $10 is amazing here, mm -hmm. but uh, at the same time, just because it is that budget price, don't skip out on making the best version of the drink you can, but... Uh, I think we're gonna have we're gonna finish these and maybe we're gonna try like one more thing so Stay tuned. So we went back because we felt like we we both had on the rock strengths We should try two of their signature frozen drinks as well um, So I went with the toasted coconut mango mojito um, Which is rum haven coconut rum mango mint and toasted coconut and I mean, it's good. It's refreshing. It's definitely more on the mango than the than the mint. Um, honestly, I don't really even taste a lot of that mojito mix, which I saw him put it in here. So um, it mostly tastes like frozen mango drink um, with a little bit of that rum on top. Um, I don't get a strong flavor of the alcohol in here either. Uh, but honestly, on a like on a pool day, um, this could be an incredibly refreshing drink to to try. So I guess it just depends whether you like on the rocks or frozen and the level of strength you want. I'm sure that they will give you an extra shot in here if you order it too. But um, Craig, yours is uh, interesting too. Yours was on the board recommended. You want to give yours a try? Not only was mine on the board as recommended. Mine was also highly recommended by our bartender. And mine is the Surfside Whitewash. On the board, I want to say it was a different name. No, was I think it was, it was that too. Okay. Checked, yeah. It just confused me then. I'm a confused person, so you'll have that from time to time. But mine is Rum Haven Coconut Rum, Red Bull Coconut, and Pineapple. So I didn't even know Red Bull made coconut flavored stuff. Yeah, neither did I. So I guess this is kind of like a pina colada of sorts in a way. Maybe their take on it. Looks that speed. would make sense. Pineapple, coconut, rum. Which and I don't Red like Bull. pina coladas, so. This sounds like a perfect drink for Eli. He loves Red Bull. I mean, yeah, the, the main flavor of it is it's a pina colada. Okay. Uh, it's not a pina colada that I don't mind, though. Uh, it's actually... Mm, yeah, it's actually pretty solid. I can... I don't want to say I can taste a Red Bull, but there is there is some flavor in there that's that is a little bit different from just like your average pina colada. And I'm wondering if that is I a little bit of the Red Bull when you flavor. weren't looking. Yeah. And it is the Red Bull. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's just, it's not a huge, like... It's like an aftertaste. Almost. Yeah, it's more of an aftertaste than anything. It's not a huge turnoff on it. Um, I'm actually surprised by how much I like this. I I would not get it every time. But, you know, this, this is like your classic beach drink if... If you're sitting by the pool and it's it's hot as hot as the Dickens, then I would go for this in an instant. So I'm I'm actually really impressed with it. So I'm I'm can't believe that I'm saying that, but I am. Yours was in a Grenada machine though. It, it was yeah, it was pre-made, yeah. pre and so we'll see how that kind of feels then when I'm finished with it. In terms of like, oh, do I get a little bit of that alcohol vibe? Do I feel a little buzzed? I mean, I, I doubt it. <laughs> but based on the first drinks that we had, I doubt that's going to happen. But you know what? We've got to finish our drinks, and then we'll give you our final analysis of Sandbar in just a moment. All right, we're done with the drinks. We are. So I feel like we did what we could there. Like, I didn't try the Bud Light, but I'm pretty sure Bud Light is still Bud Light. But we did try 
two of the Frozen and two of the Signatures. And I'm not disappointed. No, 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 no. I think if I was staying at this resort and I was like hanging out by the pool, I think that they're priced fair enough. They're, you know, I, yeah, I wish all drinks were cheap when I'm on vacation, but they're not. But as, as far as like comparing what they are versus what I'm getting and compared to how much they are at other resorts, I think they're kind of a deal here. Yeah, I feel like I've had the same, very similar style of drinks as we had here at other places where I've paid $16 for them, $14, yeah. 15, 16. So at an under $10 price point, that's even better. And then consider you're in the middle of the week here from five to seven, having a happy hour, take another dollar off. I, I, I it's hard for me to say, don't go there when I feel yeah. like you do get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm not disappointed. I'm hey, if you want even cheaper drinks too, you can go right inside of the quick service location over there and get $7 the pre-mixed margarita stuff. But what I really, what I appreciated about specifically the frozen drinks too, is it wasn't all pre-made. It was like Craig had the one that was pre-made, but yeah. mine was like fr uh, like blended to be made. So so I thought that was nice. I, yeah. I like that it's not all just like made ahead of time. Yeah, and by the end of mine, I could tell that there was alcohol in there. Yeah. So I will say that too. Honestly, sometimes when they're pre-made in those machines, those grenaded machines, I think they're actually stronger because I think they just kind of dump in the alcohol. Yeah. But So I wouldn't say if you're not staying at this resort, if you're not staying at this resort, you have no reason to like seek your way out here right, to right, try right, right, out right, right, Sandbar. Right, right, right. No, no, no. But if you're staying here, it, yeah, go ahead and try some of the, yeah. the drinks here. I, yeah. I would I would recommend them. Yeah, I agree. Don't go out of your way, but if you're here, you might as well. Yep. So, all right, well, that's gonna oh, do it. Oh, before wait. that though, speaking of that though, if for some random reason you are just here, but you're not staying here, one of the things I oh, yeah. do enjoy is that they have a section of the bar that is technically, you don't have to have uh, pool access to get to. Yeah. So you can still go up and use the bar without actually having to stay here. Yeah. So that's, that is a nice little uh, and then convenient thing. You don't even have to sit over there either because where we recorded our video, there's some seats like off to the side. Yeah. So if you're not into the whole atmosphere, it'd be like hanging out by the pool when you're not going into it, there's still a couple beach like lounge chairs and tables like off yeah. to the side for you to enjoy as well. So that's all I had to say about that. Okay, well that's it. We'll see you next time with some more content from Endless Summer here at Universal Orlando. Goodbye.